the United States has imposed sanctions on an ally of Israel's far-right national security minister and two entities accused of raising funds for Israeli settlers involved in violence in the occupied West Bank. These measures, freezing any American assets held by those targeted, are part of growing United States frustration with Israeli policies, particularly regarding settlements. Among those sanctioned is Ben Zion Gopstein, leader of the right-wing group Le Hava, known for agitation against Arabs. The State Department cited Le Hava's involvement in destabilizing violence in the West Bank. The European Union has also agreed to take sanctions against Le Hava and other groups linked to violent settlers. The sanctioned entities include the Mount Hebron Fund and Shlom Asaraic, accused of raising funds for settlers involved in violent acts against Palestinians. The Biden administration's actions have stirred controversy within Israeli Premier Benjamin Netanyahu's coalition, highlighting divisions over settlement expansion and annexation plans. These moves signal a shift in U.S. policy towards settlements, with the Biden administration declaring them inconsistent with international law. Critics argue that such enforcement actions are crucial in holding violent settlers accountable.